White Sox are one out away from ending the seventh inning, maintaining their one-run lead. There's two outs, three to two, bottom seven, but the count goes three and zero. Oh. Okay, strike three and one, swinging on the inside, and then a really nice take, bat flip, elbow guard toss, jog. We got a runner on first, two outs. Jeremy Pena's up, and that's a strike. And now this is where. I don't know what happens because that's floated in the left and everybody watching both broadcasts, all the fans expected Benny to catch that. And it's a third out, but instead it drops in front of him and everyone's just kind of looking like, huh? What happened? You can see Benny say to himself, that fucking wall, man. I think that's what he says right there, right here. Fucking wall, man. And looks back at the wall a little bit, like trying to figure out where he is and where he's playing. I think what the situation is when you're at, Minute Maid Park, when you're in Houston, they have the Crawford boxes and that big cutout. And all the left fielders kind of play to the right of the cutout because it's so shallow that you should be able to get to it. And then you have eyes on the balls that go to the wall back here. But what that does is, I guess he's just kind of off. Like, usually the left fielder plays way more, you know, left, especially with the righty up. And this one just hung up there. But he also looks like he gave up on it way too soon. I mean, the the base runner that's on base is slow, and he's on first base. Like, I don't think there's much harm in in diving for that ball, especially with two outs. Or maybe, maybe you'd say the opposite. I don't know. But anyway, so I was very interested in this, and I wanted to see if there's more balls like this that have been hit at Minute Maid Park and where the fielders played them. So what I did is... I ran this search. We got venue, Minute Maid Park, right? We got batted ball, direction, pull by a batter handedness, righty batter. So righty batters pulling the ball at Minute Maid Park in years that they have video from. I want to search by left fielder. I want to focus on the left fielder. And then I got distance projected 248 to 252 because this ball that we're looking at was 250 exit velocity 72 to 76 because this one was 74 and launch angle 26 to 30 because this one was 28 or something like that so basically similar results to what we just had in the same venue i want to see other left fielders that handled these balls and look at the results (laughs) you got two astros and then ben and tendy as three of them kind of bizarre that it's only him So I went in to look at these three, and first thing I wanted to do was look at the spray chart of them to see, and you can see that the other two were outs, he got them, and this one was a single, and it was further, you know, closer to the line, a further distance run. The other one was in this same game. Look at this, earlier in the game, Bregman flared one out there, but it was way more towards him. So he's running in, but he just has to run in. Now, the other one is pretty interesting, and I put it side by side here with the one we're talking about. He's with the Royals. It's last year. It's on the left. Bregman is the batter on the left. Pena on the right. They're both going to kind of throw their arms at this one and flail it to left field. And then right first frame on the left side, you can see that he he is shaded left more. You know, he's by the, you know, from this view, by the M in the uh, Nitto Tire ad. And over here, the one that we're looking at from yesterday, he's way more to the right. So he's got more ground to cover uh, just by his general positioning. And that's not good because the ball's hit farther away. And on the one on the left, it looks like how we expected the other one to look. Just as easy as can be. The one on the right, he comes up. So he was standing a little farther away and the ball was hit further the other way. Not a good formula. But anyway, I don't know. That's the research I did. I thought it was interesting. He stays on the right side of the Crawford boxes as the game continues on. And now you got Bregman coming up. Two on. He wants to drive in the winning run. He wants to put together a good at bat. But he's going to take the ball. And then he's going to take ball two. And then ball three is like the same ball two. And then another high fastball. And uh uh-oh, that's a walk. Base is loaded. That's four. And now 40 Four is coming to bat. That's right. The one guy you probably don't want to see in his home ballpark with bases loaded against a reliever ever. So they take that pitcher out. They bring a new pitcher in and say, hey, dude, here's your task. Hope you enjoy it. 
It's pretty daunting. Try to get this guy out. And he's like, okay, all right. Uh, he won't hit that, so that's good. Let me try fastball right down the middle. Bad. Now Benny's got to run the other way like we were talking about. That's an impossible catch. I mean, it's not impossible. What if he does it? It's really good. And it clears the bases. Slide, slide, slide. I'm going to stand up, Maldi. I'm going to stand up. I'm fast. Vamos!